<laughs> First home district game, play with heart. If we play with heart, we're not rebounding. Okay, so make sure that happens. Tonight, let's be perfect. Our purpose, we know the game. We've played so long that I think uh, we know how to play. It's not just knowing how to play, it's just seeing the floor, seeing who we were passing it to before instead of passing it late. So, like, we've played so long since we were nine, eight, seven, probably younger than and that. Each other. Yeah, we've played with each other, so we know where each other are when they're on the court. It's easy to Bon Bichara, Bon Jesse, or Chandler. We know how each other plays. We got a lot of different people that can bring different stuff to the table. We have people that can shoot, people that um, can distribute, um, people that post up with defense. I think we're, we're putting a lot of pressure on ourselves this year because we want to win the state championship so bad. Like, even if we do some something like the smallest mistake, I think we get mad at ourselves. And that could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. But I think it's a good thing because we're expecting the most out of ourselves. We're all very strong mentally with all the things that we are, the pressure that we have to win and just the things we hold ourselves accountable for. It's, it makes us more mentally ready. You see the stereotypical girl, you know, trying to act like a guy, look like a guy, and play basketball. And um, I don't know, I don't think that's, that's not with us at all, for our team at all. Yeah. Our team is. We're not I mean, we're a, bunch of, we're a bunch of pretty girls. Yeah, pretty girls. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't like to, yeah, we don't, we don't like to be looking ugly at all the time. <laughs> School is the main thing of what we're going to college for, but we also get to play basketball, which we like to do, which is just a plus. If you're putting the work in, in the classroom, you're going to do it on the floor. So it says a lot about you. I put myself, if I don't make good grades, then I can't play. And that's how I was with my mom when I was little. If I didn't make good grades, then I, I wasn't playing a game. I still kind of have that in my head that if I don't make good grades, then I'm not playing pretty much. I'm not going to school for basketball. I'm going to school to get an education. And a plus is playing basketball. I've never seen a sign in thing like that before. And it was uh, pretty exciting. Ms. Winfield, she did everything for us. and. She made it happen. It's kind of like a bittersweet. It's good because we get to go experience something on the next level. But then again, it's kind of like um, I have to start over now. The hardest thing is going to be leaving. I mean, I know we have great things ahead of us. I realize that, but like, you know, like as we've been playing together so long, it's going to be so different. I think we're all role models. We have like little kids coming to the games, talking to. Oh my God, it's Bashara. Oh my God, it's Jenna. It's Jesse. But it's just school is what you do. It's our job right now as kids. It's what we have to do. And making good grades. If, even if you are not as talented in basketball, you can still be something with your grades. We always have to remember we're kind of held to a higher standard a little bit. Just even with all the hype of the signing, um, we have a lot of eyes on us at all times. Role models off and on the court all the time. You never know who's watching. You never know what could get back to coaches, players. And you know, that also keeps us in line because we know that we always have to be on our best bank. As a team, we just need to play our own games, keep doing what we're doing, get better, and just play as a team and confident.